go. In the last five years, our country has fought through the most challenging times since the Second World War. As I stand here as your Prime Minister, I can't help but reflect that my first proper introduction to you was just over four years ago. I stood behind one of the podiums, upstairs in the building behind me. I told you that we faced a generation-defining moment and that we as a society would not be judged by some government action, but by the small acts of kindness that we showed one another. You met that challenge, and then some, and I have never been prouder to be British. And when I introduced the furlough scheme, I did so not because I saw a country simply in need of desperate help, albeit we were, but because I saw a country whose future hung in the balance. I could be bold and trust in the tens of millions of you at home that you would rise to the moment, or I could accept the inevitable millions of job losses and pick up the pieces. In truth, it was no choice at all. I have never and will never leave the people of this country to face the darkest of days alone. It's so like lackluster when they have to like literally glance at their speech every three seconds. All right. It's a fucking three minute speech, right? I could memorize literally 15 minute speeches in high school, right? Presentations. Literally every single word. And you know that. This guy's the fucking prime minister. Because you've seen it. As I did then, I will forever do everything in my power to provide you with the strongest possible protection I can. That is my promise to you. Because for so many of us, it's easy to forget the scale of what we've been through. We were hit by a pandemic that upended normal life. Who would have thought that the government would ever tell us how many you're exaggerating with bad memory 15 minutes of speech is hard as fuck to memorize no literally 15 minutes because that was the assignment 15 minute presentation on a subject and it should be almost roughly exactly 15 minutes and i uh, memorized it uh, by literally hard no one else could but i am the god gamer of course so i'm not exaggerating or misremembering because that was exactly the assignment homes. Then, just right. as we were recovering from COVID, war returned to Europe, with Putin's invasion of Ukraine sending your energy bills spiraling. I came to office above all. I, I just said high school, but same for university. Uh, I, I would just memorize it by heart. I would never have a cue card. I would never have any paper. To restore anymore. economic stability. Economic stability is the bedrock of any future success. Whether that is rising wages and good jobs, investment in our public services, or the defense of the country. And because of our collective sacrifice and your hard work, we have reached two major milestones in delivering that stability, showing that when we work together, anything is possible. Our economy is now growing faster than anyone predicted, outpacing Germany, France, and the United States. And this morning, it was confirmed that inflation is back to normal. This means that the pressure on prices will ease and mortgage rates will come down. This is proof that the plan and priorities I set out are working. I recognize that it has not always been easy. Some of you will only just be starting to feel the benefits. And for some, it might still be hard when you look at your bank balance. But this hard-earned economic stability was only ever meant to be the beginning. The question now is how and who do you trust to turn that foundation into a secure future for you, your family, and our country. Now is the moment for Britain to choose its future, to decide whether we want to build on the progress we have made or risk going back to square one with no plan and no certainty. Earlier today, I spoke with His Majesty the King to request the dissolution of Parliament. The King has granted this request and we will have a general election on the 4th of July. My God, the king has granted the request. Jesus.